Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA's Juno spacecraft made its latest close flyby of Jupiter February 2nd, passing about 2,700 miles above the planet's clouds. This was the fourth close flyby since Juno began orbiting Jupiter last year on July 4th. During these close passes, instruments on the spacecraft probed beneath the cloud cover to collect scientific data about the planet's structure, atmosphere, and magnetosphere. This information could help us better understand the planetary systems being discovered around other stars. From Jupiter to Saturn, where the Cassini spacecraft has returned some of the closest, most detailed images of that planet's outer ring system. Cassini is in the ring grazing phase of its mission, during which its orbital path repeatedly takes it through the gap between Saturn and its rings. This will continue until late April, when Cassini begins its final phase. According to findings announced January 30th, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope has identified the farthest gamma ray blazars observed to date. These are galaxies that can discharge more than two trillion times the energy output of our Sun, with intense emissions caused by supersized black holes. The light seen from the most distant object in these blazars began traveling to Earth when the universe was about 1.4 billion years old. The space-themed Future Flight Experience was featured at the Super Bowl Live Fan Festival January 28th through February 5th in Houston. The attraction was one of several NASA and aerospace industry activities and exhibits at the pre-Super Bowl event, showcasing progress being made on Mars exploration, scientific research aboard the International Space Station, technology development, the agency's next great observatory, and studying our solar system and beyond. The NBA's Cleveland Cavaliers teamed up with NASA's Glenn Research Center for a Black Heritage celebration February 1st at Cleveland's Quicken Loans Arena. The annual tribute recognizes African-American trailblazers in math and science. Former NASA astronaut Guy Bluford, the first African-American in space and a Cleveland resident, participated, as did Glenn Center Director Janet Cavandi. Acting NASA Administrator Robert Lightfoot and others participated in a wreath laying ceremony January 31st at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia as part of NASA's Day of Remembrance. Each year, the agency pays tribute to the fallen astronauts of Apollo 1, Space Shuttle's Challenger and Columbia, and other members of the NASA family who lost their lives supporting the agency's mission of exploration and discovery. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov/twan.